Hi, I'm Andy Matheson and I'm here to look in more depth at uh, top team coaching and team coaching. You know, it's, it's really interesting. You know, I think teams, whenever you get a, a really great bunch of talented people together, you know, we promote them to senior levels, put them in a room together and say, now you're a, a top leadership team or we find our best talent and we forge a project team out of it and say, now work together. I wonder how, how successful that is. And, and our challenge, which we'd like to share with you is, well, how do we stack the odds in our favour of these teams being amazing? Um, and what questions do we need to ask? Uh, a couple of months ago, we posted up on our LinkedIn page uh, a model, which is of le top leadership themes that we've spotted in the various teams we've worked with. We've worked with many senior leadership teams, some, some great, seen some great best practice, some really impressive leaders. And we tried to summarise the main thoughts we'd, we've observed into that model and thought it'd be useful to, to delve into a little bit of depth into some of the components on, on that model. Um, so today we're going to take a look at just one of the slices, which is called the pause button. Um, a simple enough statement. Uh, working with a senior leadership team a, a couple of years ago, I was quite impressed with the way that they set, set the, the meeting up. It was an off-site, uh, you got the, the, the group in a room, um, and as usual there was an introduction from their leader, and she stood up and fired a laptop up and said, look, here's the agenda. She pressed the button on the, uh, on the laptop and a very large pause sign appeared on the screen. And, and her instruction and her request to everyone was, we just need to stop for, for a while. Um, and her observations, which I think is really true, was that everyone was rushing around busy. They were talented, busy, throwing themselves into customer challenges and thinking about running the business. And she said, look, we, we need occasionally to take some time out from doing that. And, and I was really impressed that that was the agenda we had, which was just to ask our question, you know, how much better can we be as a group? And let's think about it. And if you think about it, it's, it's interesting how much learning comes out from moments of reflection. You know, we, we get so busy doing something, the very moment we step back and say, well, you know, how are we doing? There's great learning in there. And that's the ambition, I think, that all teams should, should, should aspire to, which is, OK, step back, back from a moment and consider the potential in your team and how you might improve it. And what we do is we, we really just ask two fundamental questions. And the first, the first question is, well, OK, relationships, how well are we working together? There's words like communication, trust, accountability, challenge. You know, how do we deal with conflict? How well do we manage the relationships in this team on a scale of one to ten? How good are we? Secondly, how well do we deliver? How well do we deliver our strategy, the ambition? You know, do we add value to our stakeholders? Are we, are we impressive in the work that we deliver for the, on behalf of the organisation whilst we have tenureship of it? Now, those two questions, I think, are really important. And the pause button gives you a chance to delve into both of them. So our encouragement as we start this journey is really interesting questions for you. Do you ever press the pause button? And if you do, what questions do you ask? And it's our suggestion that both questions are really important to ask in some depth. And what we'll do on future webinars is we will dive in more depth into those, those points and how to do that. Um, but let's just start with that question. Do you press the pause button and, and what areas do you explore when you do? More later.